I know like half of y'all are too young for this, but how many of y'all got tattoos? Okay, there's a few. Anyways, how many of you have friends that have tattoos? A whole lot more. Okay. Well, you ever heard, hey, check out my new tat, my fresh ink, this, that, the other? You're hoping to see something, you know, some real quality work, you know, maybe a cool portrait, even something really cool and funny. You know, usually you end up seeing something like that. Or, or worse, the portrait. <laughs> the worst of all, and I know every one of you have, had, have seen it at least one time. Misspelled word, incorrectly used word. Happens all the time. Now, in order for you not to do this, there's a few things to consider. First, think it over. Always think it over. You should never get a tattoo just because all your friends are getting it. You saw something unique on Pinterest. I promise you if it's something on Pinterest, it is not unique. Or if you're finally old enough to get one. Hey, I just turned 18 yesterday, let's go to the mall. Don't go to the mall. <laughs> what you need to do is research, research, research. Always figure out, first and foremost, the own personal meaning for a tattoo. It, it might not mean anything, just some really cool piece of art that you truly love. Could be religious, could be a person of influence, an artist of influence, something like you, you've heard before that just really inspires you. Make sure you know the personal meaning of what you're putting on your body. Next, fit and flow. I've, I've had this happen many times where somebody wants a word and they want it to show like this going across their arm. And then they drop their arm. And when they drop their arm, it goes like this around the arm. You don't want that to happen. Think about where you want the, the piece to be. Always make sure it flows with your body. And then the artist. Research your artists. Just because they're in a shop does not mean they're good. Okay? They, they can fake their portfolios. They, they could be really good at line work and like the Ed Hardy stuff and be worthless at portraits. And maybe that's what you want, portrait. Okay, so figure out your artist first. Shop location. Be willing to travel for your art if you want quality work. And pricing. Don't have it with the artists. They have bills too. Okay? The, the reason some artists are that expensive is because they're worth Always be up front. If you want something really big and you know what you uh, know what you want and you don't really have a lot of money, be honest with your artists. They'll work with you. They're people too. Because uh, Difference between a $50 out and a $500 out. So, conclusion don't let your decisions in tattooing become someone else's joke. And how do I play that? I don't know how to play this. First time I've ever doing it. Those are cool tats, man. Oh, for real. Thank you. Bro. You yeah. see the cover? And what is this one? Oh, this? Uh -huh. Just my pre dough, thumb of regrets. You have no regrets? Yeah. No? Like, not even a single letter. No, no. way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are cool tats, man. Oh, for real. Thank you, bro. Yeah. <laughs>